So I got a comment the other day asking me, when's the last time I had a cheat meal? Like something seriously wrong that you just went for it, gluten everywhere. Let's talk. He's walking somewhere. Alright, for my camera homies, we're riding the scooter on the Ace Pro in low light mode. And let's try not to die, shall we? Okay, that seemed illegal. I'm gonna catch him, don't worry. So, my last cheat meal. You know what's funny? I was trying to think back, like, when's the last time I just ate some gluten? My goodness, it might have been in Thailand. <laughs> I just do not cheat like that. I'll eat things that are somewhat below my standard, but I'm not gonna dip down. Like, I have zero desire to eat something that's just super hyper delicious with no nutritional value whatsoever. You know what's funny? Before I met my girlfriend in 2014, I had a stretch of about six years where I ate absolutely nothing that I didn't prepare myself. It was 100% my own cookings. Whether that was like fruit-based mono meals, smoothies, potatoes, like everything was so basic. And I remember we went out for our first restaurant date to this Korean place and I was panicked. I was paranoid. I, didn't, I had no idea what I could eat. I just got like edamame saltiest crap beans like it was so plain I was like I might not die if I do this and I had a bite of her strange bimimbop or something I was like this is so weird for me like I just do not I will not cheat but did that bring me superior health being so strict I think it's good to like relax I'm not like stressed out this is not bothering me to not eat processed foods and stuff. I'm enjoying all my meals. It's just I don't want to eat things that I know will harm me for no, like, benefit. I've done that. I've binged so many times. Like, it's not worth it to me. Either I'll feel sick, like, nauseous if I eat too much or... Oh, man, chocolate bars. I used to eat a whole chocolate bar and I'd be nauseous for so many hours. And it's like, how is that worth the tiny amount of time I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it for like 10 minutes and then I'm nauseous for eight hours, <laughs> if not the whole night and my sleep is bad and then maybe even the next day is terrible. We're talking days of pain for like 10 to 20 minutes of pleasure. It's never worth it. So I, like I don't even entertain these thoughts. The worst that I will do is go for sushi and even then I'm like super strict now. I'm not even going for like a teriyaki. Like last time I cheated, okay, it was last time I ate the sushi, maybe two months ago, and I did get the salmon skin sushi and it had a bit of tempura in it. So like I'm ingesting a tiny bit of gluten that was deep fried and I didn't know it was in there, but I just ate it and I would get a teriyaki that's fried in seed oils or something it's like okay but I do not feel good when I eat like that so like what's the point my cheat meals now are like okay I'm gonna go for a rotisserie chicken at the big carrot it's organic I'm sorry there's black pepper in it oh I'm cheating I did not run this red light you ran the red light in your mind oh he almost tried to kill me like those are my cheat meals I am thinking of having like a cheat meal of fruit juice one day but I do not want to go on the sugar roller coaster I'm just so happy on I'm trying to appease you to cheat meals like look I can eat balanced my idea of balance is like eating a large meal of meat and then balancing on my head afterwards and we're scooting around so it's like balanced diet is crazy. I do realize we are omnivores capable of eating anything and restaurant meals are fun and chefs have come a long way. I do not know how to cook very well. I was thinking of getting a meat cookbook, just a carnivore cookbook because meat can be so much better than I'm making it. That's for damn sure. Don't scare her.
You know, I had the thought the other day. Never make someone else's day worse. Never let someone have a bad day because of you. So, like, if I was going too fast, I might have scared her. Or if I cut someone off. I'm trying. I'm not perfect. But it was just a thought that came into my mind. Never let someone have a bad day because of you. Because I often will cut the line, cut people off. I want to go here. I'm behaving because of you. But yeah, cheat meals. I mean, my cheat meal is technically cooking meat. Because I should be eating it raw. <laughs> That's like how a carnivore would do it. That's the least amount of toxins, so... My air-fried plain meat with a bit of salt. That is a cheat meal. You know, I almost... Oh my god. Why bother signaling? <laughs> uh, who needs those? Who needs those? <laughs> oh man, just a side rant. When you signal, it's to help other people know what you're doing. So we can prepare <laughs> in ahead. And we know, it's like, okay, he's turning, I'm gonna go behind you, or go another way. People don't know how to do that. But yeah, I almost never think of food, unless something happens where, like, it's shoved into my face and I see it on a commercial or something. And then I'm like, oh yeah, donuts, I remember those. Like, I'm never thinking of anything. I don't crave anything. The odd sweet craving happens. But it's just, I ignore it completely. It's not even like a, like, oh, it'd be nice to have a bit of fruit here and there, but even fruit, the consequences are not worth it to me. And by consequences, I just mean that I'm hungrier, basically, and I might fart. Farting is not fun. Oh, Lawrence, I was supposed to turn here. Oh my God. Never too late to turn, you know what I mean? I almost look at it like a game, like, the people who run this world, who came up with all these processed foods, they're just trying to shove it down your neck. GMO crap, seed oils, refined flour, sugar and everything. I just, I see it as like a victory when I don't eat these craps that you're trying to poison me with. It's like, no, no thanks. I didn't fall under your spell with your fancy commercials and making things look so nice. You got your... Krispy Kreme stores. One just opened up near me. I'm like, that's wonderful. Like, who eats that? I just, I can't even fathom the mindset to cheat like that. I know it's delicious, but why? I suppose if I didn't get any symptoms from eating junk food, I would indulge more, but the fact that I do, I consider myself lucky. Like, I don't know what would even happen if I ate something ultra processed, like a donut my god, I can't even, or a hot dog or something. Even pork. Oh my god, don't even get me started on pork. But I am blessed to have like my health challenges that keep me disciplined. It's like, it's not worth the pain. Like I'll never eat cheese, ever. Cause I know, <laughs> I know months of bleeding are ahead of me. So it's like, okay, we just don't have to eat that. So to answer your question, when's the last time I had a cheat meal? You'd have to define cheat meal first. Your idea is probably very different than mine. Although you did say it, like something really bad. And that's just by mistake in sushi. So like two months ago, it did happen, but it won't happen again. Not on my watch. Just being carnivore, I'm just so much more disciplined. I ran over something that sounded terrible. So carnivore has healed me, healed my food addictions and my digestive woes. Everything is just functioning on a high level and life is good. Don't kill me cars. I'm coming into the lane. I belong here just as much as you. All right, I think we're done here. How are you doing? Oh my God, you thumbing up the video? I would, oh my God, no. Thumbs down. If you're having pizza topped with donuts, and you're gonna wash it down with a kombucha because you're so healthy right now you're having a kombucha even though every time I drink something like that I can't fall asleep till 2 a.m. even though I have it at 4 p.m. the math doesn't really add up on that one the caffeine afterlife they say the bacteria eats the caffeine they don't they turn it into super caffeine so kombucha is a no-go that is a no-go. So, 
Thank you so much for watching the video today. How did the Ace Pro perform, camera homies? Did it stay stable? I hope so. I'll leave now. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you next time. Oh my god. God for a break, but he said he to said wait. wait. I said I can't fake another day. He said you have to find a way, son. Don't take it personal. The universe is full of hurt, and it hurts. Don't let me catch you make a mistake. Cause if you step away from the pain, you don't progress in the game. Turned his friends into enemies. Now he has a self-centered energy and a lot of bad memories. Take a deep breath and let your stress separate from the mind and then let go of the hate Like a fish in the bait If you wanna escape, let go of the fucking hook Give you like a second look I'm a vampire Running around the street in a werewolf's costume I'm unstoppable, but lost Your thoughts are a holocaust They cost more to be hostile You're a law of attraction, dark child You'll be fine if you try If you wanna hide, fly down the water slide I don't know You'll do fine if you shine Never lie and fly higher than a butterfly Lie down You can start with the basics Give your life a facelift Stop being a fake Bitch, the person in control is you. If you wanna know the truth, step into the booth. You're super. I throw you overboard. Overcast of my overlord. Lord of my overcharge. Overcoating my own. I'm coated in love. You're coated in hate. Wondering why you make so many fucking mistakes. So many fucking mistakes. You're ashamed to be dangerous. Looking back at your life, whatever came of it. You pretend to be mad. Pretend to be happy when you're sad Living a life you never even had You were put on this earth to be heard But you're nervous Why don't you take what you deserve? You deserve it. Grab a hold of your life Cause if you wanna hold the mic in your hand You gotta make a demand Be demanding Never hesitate to be great But if you wanna escape and then bail Stop and inhale first Instead of bursting out a cage like a raging animal Act your motherfucking age